Guys, we, 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 we're pulling up to this person's house. There's a giant iguana perched on top of his roof. It's an alpha too. Guys, this is insane. We need to, we need to see if we can take this guy out. That's a monster. Sir, oh, excuse sir, me, sir, 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 sir. Excuse me. Sir. Excuse me. Hello? Hey, sir, there's a, you guys have a giant iguana on top of your house. You guys have a giant iguana. Uh, we work with the association. We just want to know if we can take him out. Okay. He said, go ahead. Go ahead. All right. Well, he's opening up the garage. There he is right there. Absolute monster. It is that time where the city is finally doing something about all these iguanas making all these burrows. Check this out, guys. Big old pile of dirt right here. And what they're doing is they are resurfacing this entire canal embankment because these iguanas, guys, they have been digging holes. They have been causing additional erosion over here. But as you guys can see right over there, guys, these things adapt to any and everything. They are back over there, even though they just laid that fresh new dirt. They're back, guys. They're back. Good job, man. Nice work. Nice work, man. Wow, that's so cool, y'all. We're going to go ahead and let him do his thing. Look at the arrogance of these animals, the disrespect. He just popped out of nowhere. And then look down here. Look down here. Oh, my goodness. Guys, there goes one. There goes two. There goes three. There goes four. Look at all the defecation and the droppings caused. Caused by these cute little invasive green iguanas. Look at this guy. Look. Look at him. Look at him. Guys, this is insane. This is so. Oh, oh. All right, let's get to work. What is going on, guys? It's your boy, the Iguana Man. We're back at y'all with another iguana removal video. Right now, we are at Air Gun One, my favorite local one-stop shop for all your air gun needs. They got gamos. This is one of, personally, my favorite guns right here. This is what I first started off using. And I really like these guns because they're super accurate, they're quiet, they come with warranty. And uh, I personally have a lot of a lot of bodies on my on my gamo and it's still working information so, is right there okay it's right there it's it's right here in palm beach there goes the phone number there goes the address using the gamo today No. Woo! In the back. Right there. Dude, they're fighting up. Oh my god. That's another giant. They're fighting up there. See, I knew I was looking up there for a reason, bro. Oh, he just chased down, uh, he just chased one down. So that means there's a giant in there. There's a giant in there. Alpha. Hey. So what you trying to do? Uh, you want to just peek over here and see if we can spot this one real quick? Yeah. Let's do that. You take he him down. Um, Alpha Goanna, just right up there. He's perched up. We're going to see if we can take him out with a headshot. Oh, there he goes. There he goes. Oh my goodness. Nice oh. shot. Holy crap. Dang, look where we got him. He's still up. Not no more. 
So you guys are probably asking like, what gun do I recommend if you're just getting into pest control with these iguanas? They are taking over. So the, the more you get used to getting a, a gun that's simple to use, effective, accurate, and of course deadly, I mean, that's just the best case scenario. Right here, we're using this Gamo Swarm 22 Maxime, guys. It's got a 10 round mag, comes with the scope that never lo lost its zero. I, I can't guarantee that, but I've zeroed this scope one time and it's never lost its accuracy. As you guys see right here, it has the knockdown capabilities to take down a alpha male iguana. And that was probably about, he was probably about a good, 25, a good 20, 30. yeah, about, about a good 10 yards up there, guys. 25, 30 feet. And look at the size. Oh, look oh. at that cut. That, oh my goodness. What? Dude, that's super infected, man. Dude, that is gnarly. Jeez. They're getting aggressive out here, man. But you guys are seeing it right there. This gun right here is all you need just to get started. If you want to advance up on more, uh, you know, PCPs or bigger calibers or, or more feet per seconds, that's on you. But just to get started in doing pest control and doing removal, this gun right here, guys, is honestly it's all you need. And it runs about $200 US, so it's not going to break the bank. It's everything you need and one has the power to teach these iguanas super fat lessons. In the back. Shot, nice spot. Thank you, thank you, thank you. There's one definitely. So that wasn't the one that shook that one out that tree. Spotted a small female. I'm trying to see if we can. Oh, I see her now. <laughs> you can teach her a fat lesson and put her in the back. That's it. That's it. She's just hang she's Christmas treated right now. She's no way. Hey. That's it. So it's got the knockdown power to get males, females, big, small. This is a small one right here, but still. We got to get them all because, it, believe it or not, this one probably this year could could breed, reproduce, lay eggs, guys. They don't need to be big. This is a, a teenager iguana, and she's got everything that she needs to start laying some babies. Right, you can pause this. this is hey, what's going on, guys? It's the ninja. As you can see, we have spotted another goanna alpha. It's not bright orange, but he is a uh, getting his colors here. As you can see, his big of a tree, which is probably like 30 feet in the air. Now you can't see the females, but you can definitely see him. His dew flap is out. See that long orange and black tail. It's up to myself and the iguana man to uh, put him in the bag. Yeah, guys, they're out there. That's, that's, he's, he's living in a mansion right now. He's living luxurious, y'all. Yeah. We got to take them out, y'all, because they're, they're taking over. So we're going to see if we can take them out right here. Wow. I'm telling you guys, it's the gun, guys. The gun puts in work. one more make sure he's out humane and just like that guys <laughs> well well the gamble guys like i said man for for the complete package at a price point that everybody could afford at 200 dollars us guys this gun right here i'm telling you the optic the power the accuracy the convenience of having a 10 round magazine and of course the effectiveness guys i'm not making this stuff up the proof is in the pudding look at that shot right there that's exactly where I aimed, and look where it got him. It taught him a super fat lesson. Oh, don't worry, guys. Ha! I'm getting mine's next. Oh, yeah. Best believe. Hey. Iguana removal. Hi. Okay. <laughs> oh, thing okay. Coming. All right, guys, check this out. Look on top of the roof, guys. This is insane. This is what we're talking about, guys. The invasion is real. These iguanas have claimed territory on this house and they probably have nests underneath the roof. Guys, we're gonna go do our runs, but we might come back here and talk to this homeowner and let them know about this problem and uh, see if we can teach them a fat lesson. Guys, we, we, we're pulling up to this person's house. There's a giant iguana 
perched on top of his roof. It's an alpha too. Guys, this is insane. We need to, we need to see if we can take this guy out. All right. This is a, he's right there. He's right there. That's a monster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me talk to this person though. That's an absolute monster. No, no, I see, I seen one. You see how thick they are? Yeah. They just, that's, that's what they would love. To see how, how thick the branches are, they're heavy enough to hold their weight in the female. And, and high, sir, oh, excuse sir, me, sir, 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 sir. Excuse me. Sir. Excuse me. Hello? Hey, sir, there's a, you guys have a giant iguana on top of your house. You guys have a giant iguana. Uh, we work with the association. We just want to know if we can take him out. Okay. He said, go ahead. Go ahead. All right. We'll say less, fam. Okay. Okay. Thank you. We just want to let you know. There he is right there. Absolute monster. That's it. Ooh. He's dead. He's dead. All right, let's go in the back. Thank you, sir. Oh, oh, look at that female. So he's dead, but we gotta get him now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, do you see what I see? No, that's why I had to stop you in your tracks. Look at that alpha on top of the roof. That's insane, bro. You can what? see the female a little bit to the left. Oh, yeah. To the bottom of him. And then there's another one to the right. Dude, these iguanas have literally taken over this neighborhood, bro. We got to up our firepower, bro. Two airsoft guns. <laughs> Back over here. Over there is an iguana. And it's, it looks like a red one, but he's camoed out so good. He moved to... He's blending right there, yeah. I think. Oh, he lost his tail. Let me see if I can take him out, though. His head, just a piece of his head is poking out. Let me see if I can clip him. Let me go on the other side of him. Get a better shot. You see him? Can't get a, can't get a shot on him. Gotta walk back here. Yep. That right there is the death shake, y'all. It's all nerves. We we'll just let him do his thing for a little bit. Nervous system of these creatures. Got him in the spinal cord, that's why. Look, the first shot got him right in the spinal cord. Right there. That's why his nerves were going. Was he missing an eye? That's an old injury, that's not new. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Unless, unless that first shot I shot him, he shot his eye out. Cause he moved after, you know? Maybe. All right, let's go over there. All right, bro. I think I think this is where we spotted that giant. Bro, get locked and loaded. All right, bro. I love the residents out here. Oh, the giant's right there. Come here, come here. He just ran. Guys, stay tuned for part two of this video. It's absolutely incredible. Huge shout out to Airgun1, huge shout out to Gambo, and huge shout out to you for watching this video.